Hey, welcome to another video. So today we're going to be going into the battle above the god's eye. But before we begin, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the Sith Citadel Discord, links in the description, and consider becoming a join member or sending a super thanks if you wish to further support the channel. Otherwise, let's jump straight into it. The battle above the god's eye was an aerial duel that took place in the skies above Harrenhal and the god's eye between the two most powerful dragons, Vagar and Caraxes along with the riders, Prince Aemon Targaryen and Prince Daemon Targaryen, during the Dance of the Dragons. After leaving Maidenpool, Daemon challenged Aemond, waiting for 13 days at Harrenhal, until Aemon stopped burning the Riverlands to come face him. Aemond arrived on the 14th day, accompanied by his pregnant lover, Alice Rivers. Aemond and Daemon talked briefly before mounting their dragons. Aemond passionately kissed Alice goodbye. The duel was said to be a sight to see, the sun was setting as the two dragons took to the sky. The dragon's shrieks and roars could be heard from a dozen miles away. So bright was the dragon fire that small folk feared the sky was on fire. Craxy slammed into Vagar, locking his jaws on Vagar's neck. Both dragons were grappling as they descended from the sky. Craxy's jaw continued to tighten around Vagar's neck, even as Vagar's teeth tore Craxy's wing and his claws opened Craxy's belly. Prince Daemon is said to have leapt from his saddle on Caraxes onto Vagar. Daemon drove his blade Dark Sister through his nephew's empty eye socket, just as both dragons collided with the God's Eye Lake below, sending up a gout of water so high it was as tall as the King's Spire Tower at Harrenhal. Neither man could have survived. The loss of both Aemon and Daemon and their powerful dragons was a severe blow to both sides. Each side lost a capable warrior and commander as well as a powerful dragon. Vagar's corpse was found years later, with Prince Aemon's armored corpse still chained to her saddle with Dark Sisters through his eye. Vagar's skull was brought to King's Landing and displayed on the walls of the throne room. Dark Sister was restored to House Targaryen. Caraxes lived long enough to crawl from the god's eye back to the shore, where he died near Harrenhal. Daemon's body was never found. However, some tales claim Daemon survived and later went to find his lover Nettles, but most historians dismiss this believing instead that Damon's body was carried away by currents or consumed by the fish. So what did you guys think of the battle above the god's eye? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the Sith Citadel Discord, links in the description, and consider becoming a join member or sending a super thanks if you wish to further support the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.